Hey guys, Fred here of E3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. It is Monday, oh, February 25th. And as you guys can see this weekend, we had some wild weather. We had freezing rain on Saturday and rain. The tent had coated itself in ice and snow. As you can see, we had drifting as well this weekend. And last night we had 58 kilometer winds and gusts. And as you can imagine here in the field, and I will post a short video along with this of the whiteout conditions that we were experiencing. All right, last night. As you can see, however, the tent withstood uh, the winds, the snow, and the rain. Currently it's minus 17 outside right now, about minus 20, I don't know, minus 23, minus 24 with the wind. Uh, the door was totally covered in snow here when I got here. Uh, but I want to show you guys, the sun has some nice heat to it. Uh, if we come in here, we have no new snow in here. We've got a little bit of frost. If we look at the thermometer, though, which is amazing, it is almost zero degrees. Uh, despite the fact that it's cold outside, all right, you can feel, you can feel the heat on here from the sun. And that's without the liner in. I just brought the liner out today. I'm probably going to put the liner in here maybe this week sometime to test it out, but uh, amazing, absolutely amazing here that it uh, survived the wind, the center pole, everything stayed tight into the ground, no issues. So just wanted to show you guys here just a very short video of my five man arctic bell tent, let you know that it withstood the elements this weekend. I do have the stove in here as well, of course you guys know, and uh, stove jack in here. I had it up to 90 degrees the other day, so if I can get the liner in, play around with the liner and play with some things here, we'll, uh, we'll know exactly what the tent will do. There are a few other tie downs here, okay, I use I tied down the one in here too off of the, uh, near the uh, chimney the other day, just to keep things tight. So those are the only other two that I really have that one can tie off to. So anyway, just want to show you guys the tent. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on. So this is Fred, the E3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. 7-3 guys.